it was like my my board, bar of wax, and my shorts. And you know, like you do anything else in life, and you need all this shit. You know, if you go skiing, you need this and that, and money and all that crap. And you go surfing, man, all you need is a board, bar of wax, and a pair of shorts. <laughs> I think we just ridden Waimea for the first time, and it's kind of far away, and uh, so Bud would process the film. Well, I'd show guys piling down the side of the wave, and everybody would be going, oh, there's me, there's me, there's me, you know, and half the time it was bullshit. The guy that was saying it was, was him wasn't him and everything, and I thought to myself, hey, I ain't stealing anybody else's ways, and I don't want anybody stealing mine, hence black and white jailhouse shorts. And it was really just more of a gag than anything. God damned if the things didn't stick. <laughs> a bait boy when I was uh, eight years old. There was about ten guys that got together down at the base of the Manhattan Pier. They called it the Manhattan Beach Surf Club. And I'd hang on the rail for hours. I'd go to work early just so I could watch these guys, you know. On the weekends sometimes for an excuse to drink, they would take a board up to the PV Cove and set it on fire and push it off the cliff as a surf sacrifice. And instead of uh, lighting this board on fire and throwing it off the cliff. They gave it to me for 15 bucks and just they, they knocked out the sacrifice part and went straight to drinking. I remember the first wave to this day that I got from the outside on that big old redwood plane. The old switch went one way in, inside. From hanging off the rail, I knew it's something I'd wanted to do when I caught that wave, man. That was it. A bad words and dirty of mine. We didn't have any restrictions in those days, man. We just went balls to the wall. We fucked up. You know, if there was somebody need punching, they got it. And if you had to go to jail, you did. All this bullshit about being a good citizen and working hard and going to college, forget it. Catch as many waves as you can. Enjoy yourself, drink hard, and screw your brains out. Just don't lose sight of that feeling, man. When you go out in the water and you take off on a wave, you reach out and that thing's breaking in your hand and you're just barely squeezing from, through a tube and you're getting a thump. You go in, you lay down on a hot summer day and you take a big scoop of sand and pull it up to your chest and fuck, man, what feels better than that? It sure ain't working at some shitty job, I'll tell you that. I'm not sorry for being a fun hog all my life. Oh. Oh. These goddamn black and white shorts have had a life of their own. There's a pair on the wall in Switzerland in the Olympic uh, Museum. And now they're, they say they're collector's deals, so I guess I believe it. Because I'm signing a pair and it says collector's edition. You know, I'm just totally uh, stoked that anybody give a shit. You know, I'm proud. I'm very proud. How's that? Pretty ugly. We're signing a limited edition of 200 
And uh, you buy these shorts, and when you slide down the face of a 25-foot wave, they're guaranteed not to blow the ass out. So if you do on that 25-foot wave, you can bring them back and get another pair.